Hi, this is Chris Cabetto. I'm the Regional Director for the National Auto Sport Association's Mid-Atlantic Region, and today I'm in the Natty Greens Buckshot Red Spec E30. All right, we're out here to do one lap of Virginia International Raceway. A big thanks to the National Auto Sport Association and Grassroots Motorsports Magazine for making this possible. All right, we're coming down to the front straight, about to get the green flag at start-finish. There have been some changes to VIR, including moving this wonderful start stand down a little further towards the braking zone. You want to brake anywhere from between 5 and 2, depending on your car. It's going to be a very late turn in. You have a late apex, but it add throttle as soon as you bump that curbing and open the wheel out to the edge of the track. The wheel, when it is straight, should put you about center track. Stay center track, moving to the right, looking for the curbing on your right hand side. Make your turn in early, use the curbing on the left, track out, use all of the asphalt out to the edge of the track, hard on the brakes, making a very sharp turn, late apex there, add throttle, add throttle, add throttle, let the car carry out to the left, turn in, put your right tires on the green and yellow, left tires on the green and yellow, right tires on the green and yellow, and left tires on the green and yellow. Now draw a B line right under the A and the N to go to the entry to the uphill S's. All right, you're going to put a tire on the curbing here, bump the curbing as we go to the right, bump the curbing. Now get your turn done a little bit early here so that when you track out, you're tracking out about center track to center right, back to the right hand side, an early turn in for turn 10. Use all of the curbing at the exit that you can. This is an uphill braking zone so you can get on a little bit later. Stay off the exit on the right hand side. Let the car carry out to the curbing on the left. Wait, wait, wait. Turn in now. Okay, there we go. We were patient and we are be able to add throttle early and use all of that asphalt. All of that asphalt is new. All that curbing is new in oak tree as well as adding a little bit of width to that turn out there. So those of you who haven't been maxed since they've redone the asphalt, you're going to need to probably relearn that section a little bit, especially since some of the sight cues are gone. All right, you can break anywhere from two to the arrow here. You want to snug up very tight to the left, back to the right very quickly, add throttle immediately, let the car carry out to this curbing. You can jump a little bit of curbing there, bump the gray curbing here on the left hand side, good opportunity for left foot braking, and you're going to straddle the concrete curbing going through these turns 16 now we're into 17 the exit of 17 you should be full throttle back onto the front straight at VIR going towards the start finish line remember there is a kink here and so whenever you exit 17 start drawing a line towards the start finish line and that will help to get you a little better time I hope this helps I hope that you have fun Virginia International Raceway is a wonderful facility probably one of the best in the world, in my opinion. A big thanks to Grassroots Motorsports and National Auto Sport Association. We will see you at a NASA Mid-Atlantic Regional event. Come on out and play.